We live in a world where everyone has been talking about automation and how automation will change the world. But to automate tedious tasks, we need to design the automation first, right? So to do that, we need an RPA developer. So hi all, this is Sahiti on behalf of Eddie Reka, and I welcome you to this session on RPA developer salary. In this session, guys, we'll focus about the global RPA developer salary, and I'll tell you why every enterprise needs an RPA developer. So without any further ado, let's get started with the topics for today's session. So the topics for today's session are as you can see on my screen. We'll start this session with who is an RPA developer and then I'll talk about the RPA developer job trends. After that, I'll discuss the RPA developer skills and then I'll talk about the RPA developer salary trends. After talking about the salary trends, I'll also talk about how the salary of an RPA developer varies based on the positions, the company and also on the geographic locations. On that note, let's get started with the first topic for today's session that is who is an RPA developer. Now all of us know that robotic process automation is a technology wherein we have to automate tasks using the RPA tools present in the market. So RPA developers are sophisticated designers of automation tasks with hands on experience in the top RPA tools of the market. RPA developers work for enterprises and are responsible for problem solving and designing the automation based on the client's requirement. Now after the automation is designed and is rolled into the production. RPA developer also makes sure that you know the designed automation is achieving the desired results. So we can conclude by saying that you know RPA developer is any professional who has knowledge about robotic process automation and is inquisitive to automate tasks using various tools. Now the top tools present in the market are mainly UiPath, Blue Prism, and Automation Anywhere, right? So if you want to know in depth about all the three tools, you can refer to my sessions on UiPath, Blue Prism, and Automation Anywhere. But coming back to the topic, if you just have to understand who is an RPA developer. Then it's really simple an RPA developer is someone who can automate tasks with the help of the top tools and can also document the required files. So now that I've told you who is an RPA developer, let me take you through the job trends of an RPA developer. So the job trends of an RPA developer is as you can see on my screen, you can see that you know the graph is continuously growing and the job vacancy is continuously increasing. Now this is mainly because you know people have heard of the term robotic process automation, but nobody exactly knows how to do it and which task can be automated. So this leaves quite a gap for the professionals who know actually what is robotic process automation and how to automate tasks. So if I have to explain you with an analogy, consider you have a group of six people of software developers or maybe related to the IT field. So if you ask them how many of them know Java, definitely most of them will know. But if the same question goes to RPA and then you ask them how many know how to automate tasks using the tools like UiPath, Blue Prism, and Automation Anywhere, there will be a few. So once you get started with RPA, you'll automatically see that you know you'll have a lot of job opportunities for different roles. So I would say the job vacancy of RPA developers continuously increasing day by day, and people are getting good amount of salaries. Now, before I tell you the salary trends of RPA developer, let me just quickly give you a stats about the job trends based on the geographic locations. Like in the United States, the number of jobs are around 5,000. In the United Kingdom, the number of jobs are around 512, and in India, the number of jobs are around 3,000. So as you can see, the numbers are quite good, and RPA developer career opportunities will only shoot through the roof as both startups and well-established companies are offering lucrative salaries to the RPA developers. So before we move forward with the RPA developer salary, let me talk about the skills required to become an RPA developer. So the skills required to become an RPA developer, are, as you can see on my screen, the first and the most important skill is to have hands-on experience in the top RPA tools. So you do not become an RPA developer until you've had a hands-on experience in top RPA tools and actually know how to automate tasks using these tools. So if you ask me what are the top three tools, then I would say UiPath, Blue Prism, and Automation Anywhere are the top three tools in today's market. So you can go forward and learn about those tools and get hands-on experience in them. Now moving on to the next skill. Next skill which is required is strong problem solving and analytical skills. Well, this is mainly required because you know you have to understand the client's requirement and then you have to analyze whether that particular requirement or the task given by the client can be automated or not. And after that, if you can automate it, then you also have to debug the solutions also, right? So for example, if there's an error, you have to sit and debug that. So an RPA developer requires strong problem and analytical skills. Next, an RPA developer also requires constant good communicational skills with other business partners to develop and deploy their ideas. So this basically helps the team to ensure that you know what can be created within what time frame and what are its requirements. So with good communication, I would say all the basic ideology or maybe all the basic requirements are clearly analyzed. After that, what is required is good knowledge of the different stages of RPA lifecycle. As because you know, an RPA developer deals with almost all the stages of RPA lifecycle, even if there are a lot of teams in an enterprise for each and every stage. But an RPA developer is a person who oversees the complete stages of RPA lifecycle. 
So if you want to know more about RPA lifecycle, you can refer to my session on RPA lifecycle. Now moving forward an RPA developer must have exposure to SQL databases. So basically any professional who understands SQL databases and understands how to access and manipulate data in databases can very well go forward and get into the automation field. Now after that the next skill that is very important is basically that an RPA developer must know how to design technical specification document for RPA projects. So all the technical specifications required for a project must be clearly specified by an RPA developer for further usage also and maybe while they're working on the project. Moving on to the next skill the next skill that is required is experience with analysis design and implementation of process. So once the process definition documentation is done and then you know the process is ready to get into the designing stage an RPA developer must know how to take forward the design and how to create different steps for the automation. After that an RPA developer must have good coding skills in .NET, C hash and VB scripting. Now generally this is one of the most common confusion that I've seen that you know people often say that you know you do not require programming knowledge for RPA developers. I would not say it's wrong because a person working on RPA works on RPA tools and most of the RPA tools are completely based on the drag and drop activities, right? So if you just want to do a for loop or a while loop, you don't have to sit and write a code for it. You can just drag and drop an activity and then do the required actions. But I'm saying that you know it's beneficial to have good programming skills in .NET, C hash and VB scripting because most of the RPA tools are completely based on these programming languages, right? So if you have a good understanding of these programming languages, you'll also understand better what's happening in the background. Apart from that an additional skill could be that you know you have basic understanding of the lean six sigma process methodologies and then you're also certified in certifications like the ITIL, TOGAF, PMB, COBIT and PRINCE tool. So guys these certifications are not mandatory to become an RPA developer. They'll just add on to your skill for team management. But yes all the other skills that I'd mentioned before are a requirement to become an RPA developer. So now that I've told you who is an RPA developer the job trends of an RPA developer and the skills required to become one. Let's move forward with the session and take a look at the RPA developer salary trends. So according to indeed.com the average salary of an RPA developer estimated from around 18,000 users employees and past and present job advertisements. The salary ranges from around $92,000 for a developer to $96,000 for a senior consultant. Similarly if you talk about the case in India according to indeed.com again the developer salary ranges from around 5 lakh rupees to a senior developer salary ranges from around 7.2 lakhs. So that's a good amount of money, right? Now not only talking about indeed.com if you take into another research. So according to Glassdoor the average salary of an RPA developer in the United States is around $96,000 and in India it's around 7,62,000 rupees. So that's a good amount of money that I think so I think anybody who's going forward to become an RPA developer or is looking forward to change his or her domain to the field of automation then I think you should go forward and upskill yourself in your careers or maybe you can start your career in robotic process automation. So we at Edureka offer certification trainings for UI path and automation anywhere and we are also one of the official training partners for automation anywhere. So if you want to get good hands on experience on UI path and automation anywhere then you can refer to our curriculum on edureka.co. So that was about the salary trend of RPA developers guys. Now an RPA developer salary trend also varies based on various factors. So it's not just with this particular profession but I think it's with every other profession also right. So maybe a role which is very popular in India might not be popular in other geographic locations. So that could happen. So for your better understanding what I've done is I've segregated the average salary of an RPA developer based on the positions the companies and the geographic locations that is based on various states in the United States and India. So starting with positions based in United States if you consider there could be various positions related to RPA developer. So when I say various positions related to RPA developer either you can start as a fresher from a junior developer or maybe you can upskill yourself and maybe become a solution architect software testing manager senior consultant dot and developer and so on. So these are few salaries that I've segregated out from indeed.com right. So for a solution architect the salary is around one lakh forty two thousand dollars coming to software testing manager salary is around one lakh seventeen thousand dollars moving on to senior process engineer over here. Let me tell you that you know senior process engineer is one of the most famous role in RPA industry. So the average salary for this particular role is around one lakh dollars. After that coming to senior consultant. So senior consultant can earn around ninety six thousand dollars a dot net developer can also earn around ninety three thousand dollars on an average. 
coming to developer the developer starts at $91,000 and similarly process engineer and process manager earn around $87,000 to $74,000 after that we also have a role that is business process analyst now business process analyst is a person who works into the complete process of the RPA life cycle so that person earns around an average salary of $71,000 and coming to junior developer so the junior developer earns around $62,000 per year so all these stats are really great to see and I hope all these stats are really great and I think you can get started from either being a junior developer or maybe if you're already experienced from around seven to eight years in the RPA field then you can go forward and become the solution architect or the RPA architect so that was about the scenario in United States guys now let's move forward and look into the scenario of the same positions in India now in India the salary trend for various positions vary a little bit for example in India a solution architect earns around 12 lakh per year a senior process engineer earns around 11 lakhs per year a senior consultant earns around 9 lakhs and a process manager earns around 7 lakh 54,000 after that coming to the developer role the developer starts with 5 lakh 36,000 and then coming to business process analyst a business process analyst earns around 3 lakhs coming to testing manager so the testing manager the dotnet developer the process engineer and junior developer all of them earn around 2 lakhs so if you observe few roles which were popular in United States are not that popular in India, right? So that's the reason I had segregated the salaries based on different positions and geographic locations. So I hope that you know you've got an idea about the different salary trends based on the positions. Now let's move forward and look into the salary trends based on companies, right? Now there are a lot of companies hiring for RPA developers as you know, almost all startups to hyper growth companies need to automate tasks to survive in this competition world. Almost everybody wants to automate their tasks that is you know tedious mundane tasks and they want to use the human resource in a better way rather than just doing the tedious tasks. So there are various companies offering but from the lot I've just segregated few companies as you can see on my screen. So UiPath offers around $71,000 automation anywhere offers around $57,000 and Zyme again offers around $50,000 for an RPA developer. So you can get started with the developer role in the RPA field from any of the top companies by getting the hands on experience. And I'm sure you'll upskill yourself definitely. So that was about the salary trend based on companies, guys. Now let's move forward with the final one that is the salary trend based on geographic locations. So, what I've done is I've considered various states in United States and in India, right? So, talking about United States first, according to Indeed.com, the average salary range for RPA developers in New York ranges around from $95,000 to $1,30,000. Similarly, in Washington, it ranges around $80,000 to $1,15,000. In Chicago, it ranges from around $82,000 to $1,15,000 again. In Atlanta, it ranges from around $82,000 to $1,11,000. Finally, in Seattle, it ranges from around $88,000 to $1,21,000. So if you observe, New York has the highest average salary range as it ranges from $95,000 to $1,30,000. In India, if you remember, I said that you know the average salary of an RPA developer is around 7 lakhs. So if you consider it state-wise, then Bangalore has an average salary range from around 5,84,000 rupees to 10,58,000 rupees. Hyderabad has around 5,62,000 to 12,23,000. Pune has around 4,28,000 to 9,69,000. Chennai ranges from around 5,48,000 to 11,20,000. And finally, coming to Mumbai, Mumbai ranges from around 5,61,000 rupees to 14 lakhs. So according to me, this is about huge amount of money and I can only see that, you know, RPA developers career is just shooting up and the salary trends are continuously increasing. Now, before I end the session, I would like to tell you that, you know, RPA is one such field that anybody can get into, right? So even if you're from IT background or maybe non IT background, or maybe if you want to upskill yourself, then RPA is one of the most interesting fields that you can go forward and upskill yourself because it's just about automation and nowadays organizations are looking for professionals who know how to automate tasks. So since organizations are aiming to use the human resource in a better way than doing the mundane tasks, professionals who know robotic process automation and have hands on experience in various tools are in high demand. So if you're someone who's looking to get into an interesting career, I think now would be the right time to upskill and take the advantage of the automation career opportunities that come your way. So with that note, I end my session today. I hope you found the session informative. So if you have any further queries related to the session, please comment in the comment section below. Until then, that's all from my side today. Thank you and happy learning.